When shading choose a bright colour, each shape can be a different colour, but they must be the same pencil to complete all the shades on the one shape. Don't use the yellow as it's difficult to get a good contrast between the shades. Now make sure you have a long lead and use the edge of it to colour the light side. This allows you to achieve a smooth finish as using the tip can make it look scratchy. Use the ruler as a buffer to protect the white page and make sure you have it lined up so the colour goes right up to the pencil line leaving no white gaps or colour going over. It doesn't matter if the light goes over the inside lines into the dark and medium as these sides will be darker and cover it up. But when you do the dark side it is important to use the ruler all around to make sure all of the dark is contained. It also helps to give crisp clean edges that make your final drawing stand out. You want to colour in from the ruler a couple of millimetres to create a frame and once this is done you can use your finger to contain your colouring if easier. And guys it doesn't matter if you do your light or your medium, sorry your light or your dark first. I just prefer doing the light but you must do the medium last. If you do it first and go too dark it can be too difficult to lighten it up. And also guys how can you know where the medium is? if you can't see where the lightest and the darkest is so always leave the medium to last. Make sure you use your ruler during when you're shading between your medium and your light and hopefully it looks like that. Now the rectangle is going to be shaded just like the cube and you've got your light medium dark. Make sure you have a long lead you're going to go up to your ruler and you're going to use the edge of it um, to shade in to give you a nice even finish. Make sure you use your ruler the on the white page to protect it. Now you see I did the largest area for the light. When it comes to the dark I choose the smaller side here and the darker side is the one that you put the most effort in that you really need to make sure is bold and there's no white patches. So it's going to be the one that um, is going to be the most difficult to do and if you choose a large area you'll end up with a sore arm. So I choose the smallest area because then you're more likely to do a good job of it. When you've done that frame using your ruler the whole way round, if it's easier you can then just use your finger as a buffer to protect the colour from going outside that frame that you've done and you can change direction if you've got some white patches. Make sure it's really dark on the dark side, really light on the light side to give you good contrast like this has. And then it means when you come to doing the medium you do a light shade and you slowly build on top of it until you have somewhere in the middle. As you can see it's still a little bit too close to the lights so you need to build a few more layers on it until you're happy that it's somewhere in between. Just be careful you don't go too dark. When you're happy with that you can then move your ruler around and start filling in the rest. And then hopefully you've got something like this. When it comes to the circle there are no flat edges for you to shade up to, you can't shade up to a ruler so you're going to have to use your finger and you're going to have to freehand put in the little frame. So do a little bit at a time, you're coming in a millimetre on the inside of the pencil line on the white page inside your shape and you're creating a little frame that's going to create a buffer that you are going to colour up to with your finger stopping any colour from going any further. Use the edge of your pencil because this is the lightest side and you're going to try to get a nice even finish like so. Now the back is curved and you've only got the two straight edges at the side so because this is curved it's not going to be just all dark or all medium. It's going to be dark at the bottom and then a gradient as it blends up to medium. So you by hand you put in the little frame that's going to protect the white page and on this side it's going to protect the light. And you're just doing that like a light medium. And then use your ruler down here is where your darkest is going to be, the most shadow. So go as heavy as you can right up to your ruler so you have a nice crisp straight edge. 
and shade up maybe three or four millimeters as dark as you can and then from there you're going to blend it into a dark medium right through until you get a medium at the top so use your finger as a buffer you're only colouring the inside of it you're leaving a little white sort of buffer on either side and you can do that bit just carefully and slowly just do it a little bit at a time so that you don't go over the lines over here it's going to be medium use your ruler and again go very carefully and slowly and you want to make sure that that does blend in from dark right through to medium and you can sort of see that that um, cylinder shape around there with your cross, the 2D cross at the front, all of that is going to be light. And do move your ruler around um, so that it's lined up against each of the lines as you're colouring up to the lines so that you don't go over. Of course, it's okay if the light goes over into the shape because you will be going over them darker, but you don't want any of the light going over the lines into the white page. So do be careful of that. Again, change direction of your shading if you need any white patches to be filled in. Keep moving your ruler around. And when you've got that done, you're going to look at these three at the top are going to be your medium. They're all facing upwards and they're receiving the same amount of light. These are all facing to the right, these three sides here. So they're all going to be your dark. You're going to use your ruler on all of the edges so line up your ruler with your pencil shade out a couple of millimeters or a millimeter do the same on the next line rotate your ruler around again draw along that pencil line and color up from it a bit and rotate your ruler around for the fourth line so that it's all nicely contained create a frame around all of the sides on the three darks we've colored one of the darks in um, but if you do this on all three of them you can then just use your hand and your finger as a buffer to color them in you don't need your ruler because you've already created those crisp clear edges when you shade in all your shading will be going in one direction if you've got white patches do change the direction that you're shading in just like that they're going to be medium and again use your ruler to protect the white page and use your ruler to protect the light side the dark side is okay because you're not going to go as dark as it and then hopefully you've got something like this ready to add the presentation